My heart also goes out to the families in Buff Buffalo, everyone who lost someone in the shooting last weekend, and everyone who's really feeling the weight of this attack. Make no mistake, this was a methodically planned white supremacist attack on a black community. It was driven by deep hatred that runs completely counter to the values that we aspire to as a country. It was driven by racist ideology and the dangerous lie of the Great Replacement. And let's be clear, this is a lie we have seen some Republicans traffic in a calculated effort to fearmonger for votes or views. We've seen it on a prime cable TV news program. We've seen it on the campaign trail, even here at the nation's capital. It is up to all of us to call out these lies and root out hate everywhere. At the basic level, at a bare minimum, every single one of us should be able to denounce not just the shooter, but the racist lies and the white supremacist ideology that motivated that attack. What are we hearing from Republicans? Crickets. And that silence is speaking volumes. Republicans must say if they denounce the Great Replacement. And if they continue to avoid giving a clear answer, we will continue pressing. Because we need Republicans to work with us to fight racism and extremism. These should not be partisan issues. We should all be able to say the Great Replacement is a racist, white, supremacist lie. But denouncing white supremacy isn't the only issue where Republicans have gone quiet. Since it has become clear that the Supreme Court will strike down Roe v. Wade and end the constitutional right to an abortion and force women to be pregnant, whether they want to be or not, Republicans have been conspicuously silent about their extreme agenda to control women's bodies which has disproportionately affected women of color and those with the tightest budgets and fewest resources. We know better. We know what they have been saying for years, the policies that they have been pushing for decades, and we can see plain as day the laws they are trying to pass in states right now. Republicans have been perfectly clear they will not stop at overturning Roe v. Wade, they want a federal abortion ban. They want to take away birth control. They want to take away IUDs and Plan B. And they want to take away IVF that helps people start a family. And they've shown as much by voting against our bill to codify Roe last week, by voting to undermine our nation's federal family planning program, and by championing extreme bills that states have passed that will take away people's access to birth control and IVF. So while Republicans may try and be silent on these issues, I can promise you we will not be. We know what they said, we know what they have done, we know what they are pushing to do, and most importantly, we know the American people will not stand for it. Thank you. Senator well, thank you so much, and I want to echo